third down and 12 at the Mark Morris 33-yard line. Shotgun formation for Margaris. Here's the snap. Back to pass. Throws. High arcing pass. And it's intercepted and dropped. Dropped at the six-yard line. Too much air under that pass. And it comes down to this for Kelso. A fourth down and 12 play. Wow. A minute 30 left. I don't know who it was that dropped that, but he certainly had a good eye at it. Went right through his hands. The intended receiver was Tyler Daniels, but boy, Tyler didn't go to the ball very well on that one. He just kind of looked like he was watching the ball and instead of getting to maybe the point of where it was going to go and at least become a defender on that play. So the Scotties will get one more shot here on a fourth down and 12th play at the Mark Morris 33-yard line. Could be last call for Kelso. Here's the snap. Margaris back to pass now, flooding out, rolling out right. Looking downfield, throws, and it is caught at the 10-yard line by Garrett Austin. An amazing one-handed catch on a Hail Mary by Marcus. Garrett Austin, what an athlete, and he comes through with another huge play like he did last year. Five seconds left in regulation. Margaris under center, ready to go, rolling out right, looking, pumps, now rolls to his left. He's going to try to outrun the linebacker, goes to the corner. So the Scotties are one. Heads up play by Cameron Margaris that time as he saw it was open and just went for the angle and got the touchdown. And I penalty don't marker. That. We've got a penalty marker. The officials are talking down there. Hold oh, the wow. phone. Had to have been way away from the play. It's going to be on the Monarchs. Wow. Kelso with a chance to kick, to tie, two, to potentially win it. What do you do here, 27 Cole? seconds left. What do you do here, Coach? What do I do? Kick the ball, go yeah. to OT. Oh, Cameron takes the snap, hands off. Sari into the end zone. It's here. points. Kelso has their first lead of the game. Like I said, it was all in their favor. Things were going their way. They had to go for it there. Don't go for the tie and give Morris a shot at getting back in it. Still 27 seconds left, so one of the mistakes here. Endemonium on the Highlander sideline, but they've still got business to do over there with 27 seconds left in this There's game. going to be one second put in. Wow, I saw the official oh, wind the God. hand over there. Right at the end of the play, there was one second left. Now they're going to wind the clock now. They put two seconds back up. The Monarch now. We're going to get one more last play. Here's Kirkpatrick rolling to the next. Steps up, throws long, and it is caught at the six, but the Kelso Highlanders have won the ball game. The Highlanders and their fans come flying out on the football field. The Scotties have taken one away from the Monarchs, and the, they win it tonight, 15 to 14. At the five-yard line, down with the ball. Great defense by Kelso to make sure he could get anywhere with the ball. And what a huge win for this program. And these kids, are they fired up? I told you.